from beautiful Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. MLB the show as interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Boston Red Sox. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. So the Boston Red Sox are in position to sweep this three-game series with a win. So, Chris, what's their mindset heading into today? Yeah, looking to go three for three, Boog. They've already won the series, and now they can really leave their mark. It's all about having confidence, and that's what a team takes away from a sweep. So... They're happy to win the series, but they'll really be riding high tomorrow with the win today. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So two down, stepping in, the slugging Nothing shortstop, shot. King yeah. Tejada. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Swing and a deep drive. This one's got a chance. Way back there, and boom goes the dynamite. He'll touch them all. His 44th home run of the season, it's 2-1. That adds another game to his hitting streak, Chris. Yeah, he's been doing so many things well with the plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. Certainly worthy of another look to find out the distance of that home run via stack cast. 470 feet. Singy, say it with me. Wow. Yeah, he got every stitch on that baseball, and you don't see many homers go as far as that one just did. So up now for Chicago, Jackson Merrill. 0 for 1 so far. 2-2 now. Hit slowly on the ground. Tejada. In plenty of time to first inning over, and it could have been worse. One run in the inning, but they leave two. We head now to the home half of inning number three. We are tied 2-2. Here's some real power at the plate. King Tejada. He's already homered here in this one. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Down the line towards the corner. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. Here's a speed threat. King Tejada. He's already homered in this game. Tejada. He swings and fouls one off. And nice and patient. Get your pitch. The 0 1. And that one fouled off. He's got one already tonight. I wouldn't be surprised if he pops another one here. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Well, pretty clear to me, he is trying to go deep right there, but you got to get a pitch that you can handle. The 0-2. Ball one ball. there. Two strike. Nobody out. Runner at first. They see him driving. Let's go. Bounce to the left side. And it stays fair. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Well, they found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Here comes the manager out of the Cubs dugout, and he will make a move to the pen. Mike Soroka departs, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. Here comes a new arm for the Cubs, Ronnie Enriquez. On for his 20th appearance of the year. Ronnie Enriquez. Here's Rafael Devers. One for two. The pitch. 
And a swing and a miss there. You know, these Red Sox, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. Just look at how the ball's coming off their bats, and tell me it's fun playing defense at this level. They've got seven hits at 90 plus miles per hour exit velocity, so you got to look alive out there. The 1 2 keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Here's a 1 2. Yeah, the 1 2 misses to even the count. Activity in the bullpen. Emmanuel Trent appears to be getting loose. King, the lefty, warming up as well. Here we go. Hey, 2 2. Right oh, that hit him. Oh, not in time. The infield single loads the bases. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. Here's Cody Bellinger. And a pitch. And downstairs. Well, this is a tough situation with the bases loaded, but the healthiest mindset is just try to get out one hitter at a time. And the righty deals. Just off the outside part of the plate. They need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something. But you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. This is J.J. Blade. Oh, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. 1-1 one, one now. Tejada, the runner at third. Devers on second. Bellinger at first with no outs. That misses. And yeah, that's ball two. It's a good take. Fights it off. You'll see another. pitch spoils that one and it remains two and two yeah the right hander deals still two and two after the foul ball left hand hitter waits and yeah, that's outside Three two now. Ball four. He's walked in a run. He's really got himself into a mess out there and now forces home a run with the wall. This inning's definitely getting away from him. And stepping in is the speedy King Tejada. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. That one is absolutely belted. And it hits the fence. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Rafael Devers up to hit. And strike two. Two strike. Come on, big guy. Get your pitch and let it rip. Let's go. Righty to the plate. Got him. Two gone now. 
Bellinger up to hit. Oh, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. They're only on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. And a 1-2. Just misses with that one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Drilled in the air. Right field. Way back there. And that is out of here. Cody Bellinger blasts one out. His fourth home run of the season. And they add on. It's 9-4. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient. And it paid off. Now it's the shortstop, King Tejada. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Next offering is foul back. Delgado over at second, one down. Hey, no one better, huh? Hey, keep it going. Touch up for us right here. center and that one will leave the park out of here so he blasts one out the other way his second home run of the game and they add a pair it's 11-5 singy the ball is jumping off his back yes it is tons of loud contact man it's been impressive an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and you know there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here well, a really nice three game home series sweep they came out and you know from the first game of this series really had a determination to play fundamentally sound baseball they came up with the big hit when they needed it pitchers came in they got the big outs when they needed it so all the way around uh, a collective effort that has produced a nice little series sweep 12-5 is your final for chris single